wrote a little song today we're gonna sing. It's part of my new album. It's called Don't Steal From Me. You stole my helmet, you're gonna regret it. I really start to sweat it. The last guy didn't make it. He made a very big mistake in. I'll catch you sleeping. This is getting demonetized. $5,000. But that's nothing compared to most life insurance policies. Hey, easy! Oh. That was a good start. Not to the wall we just had! We just fixed that wall. Hello and welcome back to another day, this is mail time with Elmo. Let's close it. Uh oh, Elmo's got mail. Open immediately, action required. Oof. Oh, this is what I wanted. What the hell? What if what this is a. <laughs> what if he gave you. <laughs> what do you say? When you think you could take Cody's helmet and get away with it. I swear to God, this is an actual. Jesus Christ, dude. Like. Basically, we were at the Freedom Factory for a race a couple weeks ago. I bought this new helmet. It's an American flag helmet. It just looks about like this. Little stripey boy with some stars. I spent a lot of money on this. I had to return another one because I got the wrong size. So I got some time invested in this. You know, it's like a $500 helmet. It's a really nice helmet. It fit great. I wanted to keep that helmet because it, it meant a lot to me. I set my helmet down. I took it off. I set it down with all my other stuff. We load up to take Monster Max to the ocean. And my helmet's gone, and everyone's like, oh, you misplaced it. It's okay, we'll find it. I'll, I'll look around. Cletus is like, it's okay, I'll check. Someone probably just grabbed it. And I'm like, yeah, sure, because no one else was supposed to be there, because it was a private event. Anyways, my helmet, it's like a week later, and everyone's like, no, I haven't found your helmet yet. It's really weird. I put out a $5,000 reward for this helmet, and this kid starts talking to me about, the, so there's these fans that were outside at the gate when we were leaving. The, the kid opens his door, and the interior lights come on, they see the helmet in the back seat. So they think he's a racer. And they didn't put two and two together to figure out that a crazy kid on drugs wasn't actually a racer for the race. They tell me about this, and then everyone else is like, oh yeah, I remember that kid too. He wasn't supposed to be there. He was like taking pictures with everybody. He said he was with Danny Duncan. He like snuck in there to this private event. Somehow these fans at the gate saw all that. So I, I'll, I'll put it right here. I sent them $5,000 PayPal as the reward. Everyone thought I was joking, but You're anyways, I hold out to my word. So I put out a $5,000 reward for this helmet. And the kids got their five grand. They split it between all five of them that were waiting out there. Just imagine, <laughs> just imagine if you stole something a little more expensive and we put out, uh, I don't know. Like, 900,000. Like a $900,000 reward. You would be found pretty quickly. So we're about to open this helmet up. He's like, the helmet has a small scuff on top because I got scared and threw it. <laughs> was he trying to get rid of it or was he... Man. Playing dress up and I don't know, but the what if it's like totally destroyed? Listen, listen. And then he's like, a day later when it's in the mail, he's like, he's like, the helmet also is very wet. This is what he said. The helmet's very wet. I said, why is it wet? Hey, easy. He's gonna pay for every scuff that I put in it with this knife too, because this kid owes me five grand. Nice little flap. Nice. Looks like we got our helmet back, folks. Are you sure? Uh, in another note. Sorry about the helmet. Why is it in a bag? Are you sure that's the one? Yep, yep. It's like it got threw out of a car or something. Can you get my gloves, Jason? <laughs> Jason, get the get the Panera Vanilla gloves. <laughs> okay, it does smell a little musty. <laughs> it smells like shit. Ooh. How did it get wet? It's not that time. It was wet. never about the helmet. I didn't want my helmet back one bit, okay? It's about dignity Words, and how please. not to steal from people. Also, but if you ever need... If you ever need anything, just let me know. Also, yeah. again, I need another sorry console. again. From your dumbest fan, aka the guy who took your helmet. You know, I do need something. There's like a bunch of stuff around here I need stolen. No one it is soaking wet. What the f ah! This is what happens you when don't you know steal how to count. 
you're gonna end up shipping our sh back with apology notes, okay? Don't steal from me. I'll put a hundred thousand dollar reward out, which reminds me. War. Re. I'm now Re putting out proudly a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar reward, quarter of a million dollars. Since you know, I'll hold out to my word now. I've always wanted to do this since I was like ten years old. I've always wanted to get my dad's skid loader back. My dad had a John Deere 250 skid loader. Yellow, a little fella, you know, he's got he's got some tires. He looks right about like this. Description, he's got like a, I think there was a dent on the. We'll put the VIN number right here. My dad still has a VIN number because Barney Fife and Andy Griffith couldn't seem to figure out who took it when they were mapping out the tracks in the mud that night. So anyways, back in, I think it was 2009. Seven. 2007. I'll, I'll put the date. I'll put all the information right here in this lovely little quarter of a million dollar picture. Hold on, wait, right now. Yep. Yeah, right there. Right there. Anyways, someone stole my dad's skid loader in this huge storm. There was a house he was building no, on Highway 331 in the intersection of 10. 331 and 10 in Indiana at night, and someone winched it onto a trailer in this huge thunderstorm, pulled it up through the mud and everything. They never caught the guy, and I'm, you know, here I am, helpless little nine-year-old whistling diesel, without, without a quarter of a million dollar award being put out. Unfortunately, this is a like 12-year-old cold case now, but I think this might be enough motivation since you all know that I hold my word. I would feel very um, warm inside. I'd feel warm inside to get my dad's skid loader back for the first person. Who took my dad's skid loader? Little, this little guy right here. Oh, Johnny! For the first person who. F yeah, I don't care. You could split it between all your friends if you want to get a, a team of 50 people. Gets 250, quarter of a million dollars cash. Quarter of a million. Okay? I held out to my word with, with my helmet. I'm going to hold to my word with the skid loader. Now, it may take me a little while. I might have to do like two payments or something, but I promise you'll get your quarter of a million, okay? Jason? Anyways, you know Jason's already getting to work. He's already, he's already making some phone calls. Oh, yeah. So. Oh boy, what if they actually do find him? Oh, Anyways. me and Jason will be fine. We quit. Shoot. We're quitting and we're going Is right. Is it too far. late to change the number? No, nope, nope, no. Nope. Well, I'm getting that 250,000. No, I'm Crap. getting that 250,000. Crap. Crap. Jason, Anyways. we're sick of the young man. I know a lot of places Crap. and a lot of people. Now, this isn't for the skid loader, remember? Because I didn't actually want my helmet back. I wanted to took my helmet, okay? Mm -hmm. So, I caught this kid will not be taking any more helmets, I can guarantee you, okay? And it's important that they're not in jail already, because if they're in jail already, they mean nothing to me, okay? They can't be in jail. They gotta be out on the streets, okay? They gotta be loose. They gotta be preying on other innocent, hardworking people, okay? And you get your quarter of a million dollars, okay? I, I will put some fine print here as to the stipulations, because everyone's just gonna go crazy and be like, I want my quarter million, okay? So I'm gonna put some fine print right here. If you catch the people who did this, you get your money, all right? I want my dad's skid loader back, though. I want the skid loader, too. How about, yeah, yeah, I want, I do want, for a quarter of a million, we better be getting the loader back. Okay. Or if you're the one who stole it, just give me a call. We'll and talk about it. We'll talk, okay? Give me a call from a burner phone or something. And no, no strings attached. But justice is going to be served, okay? And I better get an apology note, too, from whoever took the skid loader. I will That's, find yeah, it. an apology note. I want an apology note. Or, you know, I want an apology in person. I want to... I want them to apologize to my dad when you thought you could take Cody's dad's skid loader and get away with it. All right, now we're going to take some pictures and put this all over the internet. And we just wait a couple weeks and we should have a skid loader back. And I want to see him cry. I want to see him cry. Well, we can do that. We'll take care of that. Because this video is not 10 minutes long and I need that to pay for the $250,000 reward, please stand by to watch this lovely slideshow of small animals. And at the end, I'm just going to throw in a slideshow like